Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Week Ahead Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button if you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. Quick note about my readings, they are for your sun, moon, and ascendant sign. So whether you're a sun, moon, or rising sign Sagittarius, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to give you a clearer, more complete picture of how these speak to you and which part of you I resonate with as a reader. Before we start, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So for your key to the week, uh, before we get into that, my intuition activation webinar is on the 20th of March. So if you would like to get your seat, you can get it early, you can get it now. Um, and there will be a couple of goodies that come through as part of this as well. We're going to have a lot of fun and there will be the whole activation session as part of that. If you would like to be there, please come along. I would love to have you. Your key to the week, Sagittarius, is the world card, right? So in a lot of ways, there is a big change on the horizon for you. Now, you've had these eclipses bouncing around in your sign, and I think we've seen enough time now start to really move ahead where you can start to really see the results or certainly the beginnings of some of the things that have been wrought in, you know, in terms of these things. Now, this week, you could be experiencing a very big, Big change when it comes to your life. You may be implementing a very big change when it comes to your life this week. Now, this card can literally represent like your community and all the rest of it, but it's also a change in status. Something about you this week is coming to, uh, not coming to an end. It's more like it's coming to fruition. This is you stepping into a new era and more importantly, a new version of yourself. For your actions and options this week, you have the Queen of Wands, right? So I like this. In a lot of ways, I feel like this is you really starting to understand the mysteries of who you are. This is you delving into your own sensuality and sexuality. And coupled with the world card, this sees you really starting to say to yourself, how do I incorporate more of the uh, creative and more importantly, the spiritual aspects of my life into all of my life? There's a really strong sense of integration here, but there's like a physical, almost like a visceral pull or push towards creating something new um, and it's not something it's actually a newer version of yourself is emerging at the moment this week is going to be no exception I mean the fact that you have the queen of wands in some way shape or form this is an archetype of you whether you're a man whether you're a woman whether you identify as non-binary is it it's, it's kind of irrelevant at this point this card is representing an aspect of who you are and this is you showing up as your Yourself, but saying I am ready for change I am ready to do something completely different and in a lot of ways you may be tying yourself to a new community through the changes that you're putting into place over the course of this week um, I mean there's been some really big stuff for you guys recently so I'm interested and intrigued to see what happens for your communications and conversations you have the um, king of swords <laughs> <laughs> last dregs of the uh, Mercury retrograde as I record these so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me I had a complete mind blank there um, right so this is with your world card right your king of swords in your communications and conversations something is taking a very official turn this week when it comes to your work when it comes to the communications this could be you maybe uh, for some of you this could be you putting your notice in for some of you this is uh, maybe making a declaration of sorts about a personal business or maybe this is you inserting yourself into a certain community and doing so in a leadership position in a lot of ways I kind of feel like you're taking charge of something this week but not like a oh you know I think I feel like I'm going to be more assertive in this area of my life this is you being real about it you know not that you're never real because Sagittarius I mean if you want honesty <laughs> um, so for those of you that work for somebody else 
your king of swords is going to see you looking at the paperwork the documentation and very likely the legislation around your work it looks like something has changed in your work and it's something that you either don't agree with or no longer resonate with and you're looking at what the options are one of the you know one of the ways that you can do this if you don't really see yourself you know starting a business of your own or whatnot is literally right if you want to make the changes you have to go for the positions that allow you to make the changes right this is about you looking you know bigger broader and saying right okay if I can't make the changes I want from this level I simply have to go to the top one uh, for those of you that work for yourselves business owners entrepreneurs etc your king of swords is really you looking at how you make yourself um not an establishment but an, a household name this is about you finding a way to put yourself again you know in that top spot position but how to elevate your business in that way that it speaks much you know much louder or certainly to a bigger audience of people i mean certainly with the king of swords as well this could be you welcoming in um or maybe even aligning yourself with newer or bigger bodies or communities in some way and then finally for those of you that are no longer working or retired um yeah i mean with the king of swords it kind of suggests that some of you might either be going back to school or you may be taking on board some sort of new knowledge that you can use for the benefit of everybody that you're connected to there's a strong sense here that you are doing something behind the scenes that has a very official slant to it um it's just not focused on work for you for your money and materials you have the devil card all right so if there is a big purchase in mind, I would say this is not the week for it. Even though Mercury is now direct and will continue to pick up steam, you don't have the luck this week for making a big purchase. Um, especially if there's a contract, you know, involved with it. So, you know, even something as simple as a new mobile phone, this week it's just not there. Wait until the week after. Um, the energy will be much, much more beneficial and much stronger for you. Uh, the other thing is with the Devil card, because it's underneath your World card, uh, your World card, your uh, Queen of Wands. That suggests to me that you are, when it comes to the finances, maybe you are cutting somebody off. Maybe you're, um, maybe you're observing where you're wasting money, and it might be that you're having to say to the kids or to a family member that's constantly borrowing from you, "I can't do this anymore. You're going to have to find a different, um, you know, you're going to have to find a different source." Uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, your knees, your bones in general, um, maybe even including your teeth as well for some of you. This would be a week to watch out for that, especially because you've got a double hit of the Saturnian energy here. So really look after your bones this week. And then for your home and environment, uh, <laughs> it could be that an elder elder person is coming to stay this week, maybe not necessarily for good, um, but they could be visiting, um, and it's the devil card, coupled, or, you know, in close proximity to the king of swords. This may be a person that has the ability to rub you the wrong way, or knows all the right buttons to press in the things that they say. You're going to have to let it be with a pinch of salt this week, all right? For your love and relations, you have the Ace of Swords. Okay, so for those of you that are single and in communication with somebody that you spend a lot of time writing to, um, and when I say writing, I mean it looks, it feels to me, especially because you've got the King of Swords, you guys spend more time texting or emailing than you do actually facetiming or in person um if that is the case it looks like in about a month's time you will be connecting with this person in person which is quite nice um for those of you that are in relationships or partnerships already there's something here that um a contract is needing to be looked at this is something that you're working on together or working through together this could be uh, paying off a loan early paying off a bill the reason i say this is because i get the feeling that you're clearing a debt of some sort but it's like you know banks are shit bags like that excuse my language but it's like when you want to pay something off early you get penalized for it which i've never really understood but whatever um this could be a week where you're either trying to find a way to circumvent that or you're trying to find a way of you know paying 
paying something off without getting the extra charge. Um, either which way though, your actual relationship doesn't look too bad, but it does feel like finances or money is gonna be the issue that crops up. Not necessarily for you, but you know, for you as a partnership. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how this one shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.